Hello everyone and welcome to dev stream number 60 of Legend of Alchemist. So today we're going to be working on the uh, jungle area. We're going to be working on a couple spells. Uh, probably, well hopefully we'll get to the spells. Some enemy placement, uh, just adding vegetation to the level and maybe fixing some of those glitches we've been talking about. We got it on the sticky note. Thank you all for hanging out today and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to just switch this over here. Here we are. So... Last time we finished the tree bridge, added the water and some trees and vegetation, just a little bit. So today we're going to be adding on to that. Going to run it from the top so we can all have a look at what we've done. And also think about where we're going to place uh, some more stuff. So it might take a while. Hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. I know I have. It's always a good day. Especially when we can get some dev work done. Got my energy drink here. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, let's load this up. In a faraway land. So it's it's like it takes a minute and a half to walk from one side to the other. We went with a bit of a bit of a larger terrain this time. It was a uh, three hundred by three hundred instead of two hundred by two hundred. So we got to figure out, I put, I placed the crystals to kind of give us an idea of the focal points. Um, but I actually really like how the crystals look in the jungle, so we'll probably keep them. Uh, maybe not there, but like we might put them around the jungle for when it gets nighttime, just to give it some uh, theme, to make it less just jungly overgrowth. And maybe it'll have some type of gameplay mechanic, like you can charge your mana from them or something. Oh, right. But there's the uh, temple. Still needs work. We need to make a waterfall here eventually. I have to... <laughs> I'm probably going to have to Google how to do that. We have waterfall assets, but they're not, like, that wide. And making them wide just looks distorted, so we're not going to do that. I mean, I'll throw them down and we can look at it, but... Uh, we also have to move the branches around. Uh, at least that was the plan, but kind of just running through. The branches don't look that bad. We just kind of placed them down and rotated. It kind of just looks natural. You know, like they're overlapping. Not not this. This is into the wall. That needs to be fixed. All the ones that are in the walls need to be fixed, but the ones that are like overlapping aren't that bad. This looks a little more natural. Um because you know like trees would grow towards where the sun is, so they would all kind of compete to get to the same place. But you know, there's uh so that so yeah, so there's that. There's our focal point. So wherever these trees kind of like go in like this. That's like, a, those are lines. So just for example, the player sped up right now. When you walk off this bridge, like this is blocked off. That doesn't look like anything. Maybe this is a path along this like ridge here, but not really. But when you look over here, it's like, it's like the trees are drawing you in. So we put a crystal there to just mark that off. And then when you go over here, there's nothing really like that. It's all kind of just blocked off on one edge. So then when we go over here, we'll see there's two more focal points that we're going to use. Uh, luckily, this focal point here, like this little like window kind of lined up. So that's a really nice shot. I really like that. And then here, you know, you can see down there. It just kind of worked out for us. Uh, I put these two vine things here, and it kind of works to draw the attention there. You know, about those vine things, it just kind of be blank. Um, you gotta, you gotta draw, you gotta do things to draw the player's attention in. Like, look at that. That's a perfect, like, corridor or hallway or just lines pointing into that crystal. So we like that. Now, this over here, we want to be hidden. Right? Like, you can't see shit. It's just like when you get to the edge, you can finally be like, oh, okay. There's a bit of thing there. So the idea is that you have to find it. And the player will go over here and it'll be like, oh, there's a thing. Maybe we'll mark it off or something. I don't know. I, I kind of want. I kind of like that it's a little bit hidden. You know, you have to actually like approach the edge to see it. It's just a little hidden, hidden little area. Anyways, let's get into this. We're gonna open up the jungle area too, and this is a brand new area that we added because I felt like just I'll just pop up the map. We didn't have this middle bit here, and before we were supposed to go up these bridges, but that didn't happen. We just had this. And it would connect into here directly without any of this. And I thought that was too small of a area. You know, just going from there to there. So we've added... So we decided that the river up here splits into two. And we've added this area here. 
that the player goes through. Just to give it some, uh, just to give the jungle a bit of, you know, space. So it feels less cramped. So what we're going to do is, um, we're just going to keep this diagram here, I guess. I don't think it, I think that we understand this doesn't need to be a race. It's just a blueprint image. But what we're going to do is we're going to try to think of what goes here, what goes here, and what's going to go like here. It's not scaled very well either. Just bear with it. So I think what I want over here is a cave. So I'm going to just think of that. I'm just going to think this through real quick. So the cave would be like here. It's not a solid outline. And so the focal point would be roughly like here. Oh, God. There we go. So we'll add it about there. And then um, I think we want some type of like house or hut over here. And then... Um, Something something like uh, X Factor over here. So something like that. So we got to think about what that those are going to be. Just for reference, uh, in the Dark Woods, we have something similar. One second, I I'm just going to put up this so I can go through my files without, without doxing myself. I have it all in my business my business documents folder. I have two different things here. So I, I just put them all in the same folder. So I don't want my other one to be seen. So we'll go into this, uh, map design. Okay. And we're back in five, four, three, two, one. There it is. So this is what we got for the dark woods. So you can see like there's a, a giant Vespa nest over here. So that's wasps, a uh, small ruin village. Um, this has four sections, whereas the other one, uh, it has four, but this is more like, this one here is more like just like a walk to the temple. It doesn't have much in it. So this isn't really like a, a place. Um, where here the manor has like a bunch of buildings and places to go, and then it goes to a cemetery. So maybe we'll do, I kind of want to have something. I want, I want there to be more in the jungle, so I'm thinking, so... Just just a highlight. We have this small temple here. A cave here. This should go somewhere. Or maybe we'll have it over here, but I feel like it's too close to this. Um, this here leads to the swamp. So we could have the swamp kind of lead up here so you can view over the river. I'm not sure yet. The swamp's not very planned out. But we definitely want something interesting here. Something kind of subtly interesting here, but not super interesting because we want the eyes to kind of go up this way and this way. We don't want to take it. We don't want to make this special or this side special right now. Um, no particular reason. Just, you know, you don't want to have like too many good things on this side and then this side kind of sucks. Um, we already have this here and here, so that's probably a little too much. Uh, yeah. Uh, we don't want another cave over here. We want the cave here because there's a cave here. Kind of stuff like that. Just balancing the zone. I honestly feel like we should have something here as well, but it is what it is. So let's open that up. Let's just think about this. Uh, we have these bug hives as well that spawn enemies. So we could we can use those here. We can utilize those. I think I think a safe first step would be actually to just like grab these like things and get them out of the side of the the damn uh the damn wall to do that we'll just shrink them down just because like there's no reason for them to be oh uh touching the wall This one's a little harder to get. It needs to go really small. Um, or it needs to go up more. And then flatter. We'll just fix that one up. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll put it down and we'll just grab the branch entirely. And just move the branch up like this. Just move the branch in there. And there we go, it's solved. This is going into this tree, that's not uh, an unacceptable. So 
So we got to move this branch as well. Grab the whole thing and just kind of like, just move it out of there. Here's a good place for it, I think. Right in there. And the player won't mind that. A little bit of overlap here. That goes in uh, a bit. We just want to take that, shrink it a little bit, move it back. Actually. I just don't want them to, like, be, like, I want them to overlap, but not, like, inside of a tree or a mountain. Like, just the leaves should overlap with the leaves. That's way too close. So what we can do if this one is just like move it up back here. Because we just want the canopy cover more than anything so that when the player is over here, they don't see. They can't look up and like see through the canopy as well. So uh, well, these branches are a little more F than I thought. That's okay. We knew that we were going to change them. I just I thought they were okay after like looking through. But this side's like cooked. To use the zoomer expression. Need to size that down maybe. Oof. It's getting there. That's not bad. That's good. That's good, 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 good. Uh, this one's kind of close, but I don't think the player is going to be looking up and being like that. Discerning with the fog. Like, they're not going to look up. Like, really, it's the perspective from the ground we care about the most. Like, this one here goes exactly through it. Like, that's no. That's a no-go. But hey, there's plenty of space over here. Throw that in there. Oof. I, I should have that on local. Oh no, global. Because uh, then it's gonna if it's on local, it's gonna average the two out, and we get a weird vector. Direction vector. A little bit more. Look fine. This one again, this is kind of going into the tree, so it's no go. Uh, honestly, sizing them a little smaller is kind of like like that's the quick fix, but we don't want to do that too much. We would like as much canopy cover as possible. This is clearly off, but I don't think the player will see it. Or rather, it's not that I don't want the player to see it so much as like I, I don't think it'll bug the player like it'll I don't think it'll look off from a downwards perspective or upwards perspective. So unless we like suddenly add flying into the game for no reason, which there is going to be like a bit of a flying part, but that's way later and it's not here. Uh, it's not going to matter. If you look at the if you look at the title screen, the player has wings eventually. That's gonna be if I can pull it off, that's gonna be like an important feature. Oh fuck, even this one's going in the tad. Can I just rotate it? No. This one we'll just make smaller. This one's like really messy, but that's fine. That that actually looks more natural, I guess. Or, no, that looks bad from this specific angle. Why does it look bad? It's because there's, like, is it just two of them? Is 
a little bit messy. And it doesn't look too bad. Just trying to make it nice and nice and pretty. Overlap is acceptable. I guess it's the angle of this one. I think if it looked flatter, it might look a bit better. Yeah, because then it looks actually like you're looking up, whereas before it kind of looked like a, a cup or a dome. I think there's like less, I don't know if it's less trees or just like better placement. It looks so much better over here. Maybe it's just spacing. Uh, even like when it's touching, it doesn't look that bad. I just don't want to move that. You know, it actually looks a little bit better sometimes when it's touching. So maybe just a small change. So it's touching, but it's not like in it. Like this one's way too far in. That's drastically in it. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. All right, I think this is where it's really fudged. Smaller arm here. Smaller branch. Right up like that. Okay, I think that's pretty good for the uh, branches. Oh, that is not intended to be like that. This one should be like roughly, they shouldn't be sticking out the top. He's like, these bits here, they shouldn't be like very far out the top. The leaves are like resting on him. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, this one here is still bad. I think we gotta minimize this one. I'm just gonna do a quick patrol of the perimeter and make sure there's no more like sticking into the wall because that's the main thing that bugs me is when it's sticking in the walls. If it's sticking into the trees, like it's a little weird, but like you know, you can imagine that it's like wrapping around it or something, like the player can imagine. Or like here when it's touching the grass up here, you can imagine it's just like kind of resting. But when it's directly into a rock wall, it's a little like no. And there we go. Okay. That the branch is done. And I might I might just work on the alchemy skills. If I can't because I, I really I think I need to ponder what I want the point of interest to be. I think I have to think it over. I don't want to just add one because I'm like, this is what we're supposed to do today. Because then it's it's gonna be shitty. Enforced. And we'll work on some more vegetation. And also, I still am upset that we can't have this here because it's it looks so cool in the fog. It's just that it's got this is like in the this is for the ice zone now, and I had these as assets in the jungle earlier, in earlier builds, but I removed them all. So they're supposed to be later, but they looked so cool when you like came in and you could see it kind of 
back here like that. It's unfortunate, but we got to got to think about the rest of the game. I have a limited amount of assets. So, um essentially what we have left is placing some of these vine things around. These are just like little additional pieces that um give the jungle a little more character so it's not just uh just so it's not just like, you know, flowers and trees. And I try to make them grow in a similar direction to kind of imply like, um, hey, the sun's coming through here. And then some of them will be like straight up. Just angle them in a way, almost like they're all trying to get to the same place. But we don't want to like, we don't want to take away from this focal point too much. So I'm trying to like not destroy it. Let's say there's like a gap here. Maybe we'll try to place them where the lights are. Um, oh, I forgot to take these jungle bushes. We rotated them. Uh, we didn't put them into the bush parent. So that's very important for us to do. There's a few things we have to like sort out still. Uh, and the reason we're sorting the hierarchy now is so we don't have to sort it later. And there's a couple bushes that are not in the parent. And then these three trees are like on the outside. We have to add outside trees as well so that when you look out into the distance, you see these like branches instead of just like the sky. Gives it like a sense of depth, like you're in the middle of something rather than like the middle of a box with four walls. It's, it just gives you the sense that like, hey, there's something out there. Just like that. You see it here and there. Just so you don't like just see mountain. Yeah, I don't want to add too many of these vine things. They really are like kind of like, you know, they're just like additional. They're decorative. Kind of want to put them. I, I think I'm going to put them in the sunny spots where the trees maybe didn't reach. Because they're also competing for light and stuff, right? That's like the whole point of the jungle. Is it's a man-eat-man, -man, plant, plant eat plant world where vines and other types of plants just compete for sunlight. Kind of have like uh, just these light spot, spots filled up. And we'll have certain ones just like chilling. Not sure if I'm going to like the look of these things. I don't want them to be in like places that are... And the lighting does change, so we're just using this as like a rough like idea. So it's probably not going to be even accurate, but you know, just to place them... I think I placed them a little too much along the shore, but we'll just say that's where they they thrived. The rest of them got out competed by random shit. They just so happened to thrive there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the vine trees here and here and create an empty parent and just call these vine trees. Vine tree parent. But we're going to grab these, all of them, and we're going to say uh, OS, or sorry, not OS, random, random scale between 1 and 1.2. So they're all different sizes. Oh, what the hell? Why aren't you included in this list? You son of a bitch. Just gonna run it again with it in the list. 
and just something like that. And then we're going to take the ones that aren't bent because they go straight up and just give them a random rotation. Uh, and we'll hope it's on the Y axis. No, it never is. It's always on the Z axis. It confuses me. There's an X and a Y here, but it says Z axis random range. And it'll just like spin them around. Uh, because, because they're like, since they're going straight up, they have like their, like, we, we don't want them all to be going straight up in the same random. Whereas these ones, they're clearly pointing somewhere. So they're, they're not getting their randomization. And these ones are all in the shadow. So I kind of like contradicted like this part, but we'll just, we'll roll with it. It's fine. It's not perfect. It's just like us placing stuff. And then we'll place some rocks down and we'll call it environmentally sound. And perhaps we'll add some different, think about the enemies. It's supposed to be a lot of flower monsters, but we can add bugs as well. And that just kind of fills in the vegetation. So that like, like when you look through this giant hole here, there's like vegetation. And it still keeps that kind of focal point. It's a little, there's a little bit of distraction with them, but not as much. Not too much. I don't hate it. It makes this like little f narrow thing kind of feel empty, but I think that's what we kind of want. And those ones I wasn't even, they, they were just there for like placement or reference, but we'll keep them. Then you can look over there and you see like it's more jungly. Then there's there. The only see one of the problems is when I I do this, sometimes I fall in love with the way it was before, and then when I add more, like I can't tell if I'm just being biased and I'm like added too much, or if I'm just like, you know, holding on to something that I already made that I thought was really good. But you know, sometimes adding too much is a bad thing, as well. Like, that kind of looks a little to me like we could use, like, one less, maybe. Really hard to say. I really liked what we had before, but these aren't bad. Like, we really do need more plants. So, why not keep them? Yet. And we never recovered. I don't think there's a way up. No. Test is over. I didn't really like all of these being here. I just feel like maybe removing one. Makes me feel better to remove one. That one was kind of random. That one there. What really should have happened is these ones, the ones that are in the light should be like this, and the ones that are in the dark should be like this, like they're reaching out of the darkness. Or the ones that are closer to the tree should be bending. The ones that are further away should not. I don't know. We'll just call it good. So the next thing we need is like some rocks or something. So for this, we're just going to embed them into the ground just a little bit. We can rotate these, rotate these randomly ourselves. That looks appropriate. I didn't like these back here. I thought they were kind of weird, but you know. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not great. It's not that I dislike them either. Just I find, I don't know. I just put them here and I'm like, uh, maybe not. I'll figure out what we're going to do with that area before I get rid of them. So we have a rock there. Gonna say like a rock here.
I don't know. Rock placement's one of those things where it's it's just kind of like, well, how do you do? Now we're rock here. Yeah, that's blocks the view. I'm going to try to randomize each one individually. And, and sometimes you just want random rocks, right? Like, it's been there for hundreds of years. Nobody's decided to just move it. You can add some like touch to it by just adding these two. Oops, wrong button. Like, like there's the rule. I've said this before. There's like the rule of threes. Like something feels like it's supposed to be there when there's like three things. So like just adding so that rock was alone, but then adding two of these just kind of makes it seem a little like less alone. This rock's alone, but then like. When you view it in the context of these three, like it kind of like makes a, um, it makes a shape. That's another thing I, I've read about or watched the video on. If you have like shapes, it kind of like makes people feel better. Like you see, there's a triangle there, there's a triangle here. I, I guess like <laughs> I, I'm just trying to think about what I like watched, but you kind of can see how like when you see this, it just. The having like a few things here makes it look a little bit better than if it was just like by itself. Like wah wah. Kind of by itself, kind of part of a system. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Thomas Horace, welcome to the stream. It's going good. I'm just play, uh, placing some stones, some vegetation, trying to make this area look a little bit better and more natural. I uh, hope it's going good with you. Placing rocks right now. And make rocks look not like purposely placed, I guess. Groups of three here. See, that looks nice, I think. Good enough. So now there's like a few rocks. Um, this one here seems to be a bit of a stretch, but you know, like it doesn't have to, doesn't have to be like the, the, the bestest. Uh, we, I guess we could put like some roots or something. No, nah, that's weird. I think we also have jungle grass. Uh, one of these is the actual one that burns, breaks. So this is another like thing we have to add. Um, and these ones are burnable and slashable, so they're a specific type. Um, yeah, grass is a little bit. Like, I'm not really, I haven't placed a lot of grass grass in the other levels, so it's a little bit, like, I have to really figure out how to place it. <laughs> Feels like there should be, like, patches of grass or something, but then it, then it kind of makes it feel very video gamey. Because the floor is grass, like, we have a texture. But if I just had, like, a random patch here, I feel like it might be a little, like, weird. Gonna get rid of those. Or no, I'm gonna keep them. Screw it. This this rock is gonna be surrounded by it. We're just gonna roll. Maybe this rock is later at some point, like you can lift it up and there's a treasure or something. And the grass are just here to guide you the whole time. Maybe that's what that's about. 
And there's a cool feature we have here. Uh, place uh, at. Um, there's a way to. New instance under mouse. And what we want to do is uh, jungle grass. And we want to find the prefab. And then we want to say um, select. And then we can just go boom. And there it is. And we can do a random rotation on the the uh, y axis. I believe that's how that works. So we can start to like build this tool out. And, and sometimes there's a problem where it doesn't register the undo. All good here. And yeah, the challenge of making something like grass placement feel random, natural is actually really difficult. Uh, it's good to hear. And yeah, it's it's like a yeah, it's very it's very different. Like. It's it's definitely difficult, <laughs> just because there's, it's like um, you're making something out of nothing, but then also trying to make that nothing like random. And then like I have like a if I put a patch like this, it's like well, why is it here and not like all over the place? Then I have to make sure it like kind of like lines up on a or doesn't disrupt like the flow of things. So like right here, I put grass right here. This is a terrible spot because this is where um this is one of the focal points. So we want the player's eyes to be drawn towards that crystal. And then there's grass here now, so it's kind of this is a bad one. Level design is definitely not my like strong suit. I'm getting better at it. I've made after making like a bunch of levels, it definitely helps. Holy shit, I can't select this without the terrain. There we go. Uh can't do oh, it's because I selected the inside of it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not picky on this grass. I'm gonna get rid of it. I think it's okay around the rock. I think I'll just keep... Whoa, whoa. Ah. Uh... Oh, shit. My stream's still up? Yeah. Okay, the grass has crashed Unity. Damn. Okay, well, when we wait for that to open, this is the map that we're trying to make, this one here. Um, We've pretty much got it done. We just decided before we had these two connected, the first one and then the second one. And you just go through here and then you'd end up over here. And I, I thought it would be better with an extra area in between. So we've made this river area with this bridge, which is not as intricate as it was planned. We used to have it that there was ramps in, in the paint picture, not the 3D environment. There's going to be a ramp, and then you went on this tree, and then you crossed the bridge over to this tree, which is on the river, and then another bridge to a tree and down a ramp. But now it's just two, it's now just like two trees in the middle of the river. Still pretty cool, but not what we planned. Damn, this is, uh, this thing crashes a lot on me now. I, th I think it's something to do when I'm streaming, the amount of memory that's getting used. Only when I place a lot of stuff, remove a lot of stuff, then place a lot of stuff. Okay, we should be back. Okay, what got saved and what got deleted? The rocks are all gone. Fuck. Okay. Uh, at least these vine things are still here. Um, we'll just take that as a cue from fate that those rocks were not supposed to be surrounded by grass. And we'll take the ones that we liked, like this one here. And we'll give it some more grass like before. Because I, I liked this one. Um, I think I had this one shrank. 
rotate randomly like that. This is why we hit Control S to save often. There we go. I like this one a lot. I think I liked it better before, but hey, it is what it is. Um, this will be left open now. I think that was cursed. Uh, this. I also, if I place like another rock with like two grass grass bushes in front of it, these red bushes, um, that would look just like kind of like forced. So I should maybe just do this tactic like once over here. And um, we had this rock here. This one was okay. It went along with this thing. Which the slope of that, like this or something. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Then there's also the aspect of level design where, like, if you think about it too much, you kind of ruin it. Like, if you, if you just, I guess, like, if you put all your processing power into, like, making it look natural, you kind of, like, sabotage yourself because you're too, like, hyper-focused on, like, I'm too hyper focused on this ro this rock, but I'm not thinking about all of this stuff together, kind of deal. So like the rock is fine there. If I add too many things, it's just gonna throw it off balance. It's fine there. We don't really need like five rocks or anything. Two is a little not really enough, but maybe three. Okay, I had this one over here and it looked all right. I don't think there's going to be any players giving us like a rock count where they're like, there's too few rocks in this area. Needs to be at least four. It's kind of standing out by itself a little bit. It seems a little... Eh. I'm just deleting it. I'm thinking about it too much. I'm going to run from the top and just walk around and think about the area. Sometimes you got to do that. You just got to load it up from the start. Just... What the hell? Oh, my whole screen is just blacking out. WTF. Um, my Streamlabs is blanked out. Okay, there we go. Um, I might crash at some point. This has happened before. I think it's struggling with some memory issues. Uh, hopefully the stream's not like lagging too much or something. Okay, so we got the rock there. That looks fine. That doesn't look like cheap or anything. That looks a little forced. Yeah, keep that one away. That looks fine. I had a rock over here, but it's gone now. That space needs filled with something. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this one. Looked a little too much, and then... um guess that... That's fine. Sometimes less is more. There's one behind it that kind of opens it up. 
And then when we were over here, I could only see like the bottom of it. So I kind of like that it's clear. Uh, that one's fine. I'm just going to say vegetation and rocks are taken care of and then I'll come back and add stuff later if I feel like it needs it. So we'll sort out the hierarchy. So we got the three crystals. We're just going to take these and um, put like a focal point reference. Says We'll grab these. Rocks and we'll just right click, create empty parent, and just say rock objects. Rocks parent with a lowercase a instead of a capital case a. And then these three trees on the outside were just kind of placed haphazardly, but um, so I, I think they're fine how they are. I don't think I think they actually turned out pretty good. Um, but we'll add some more trees around. Cause we just want it to be something that like, oh, fuck the okay, something that like if you look over in that direction, it's it's it feels like there's more jungle. So we need to like replicate that idea. So we'll take these three and create a new parent. Call it outside trees, outside um, boundary trees. And turn off the fog. Turn off the light. And we'll just start to add other trees to the, the pile. So this one has like four different limbs. Gives it a little bit more. It's probably better I just place them and then sort them out. Let's get this player manager here and just turn it off. Turn off the fog as well. It's a little like weird looking, but it like
Those paint. Uh, one second. Okay, we're going to try from the top again. Oh no. Let's see what happens. I also have to add lights to um I have to add lights to that shot of the castle, I think. Oh. Turn this back on. Because uh, that castle shot... Um, one second, I'll show it. Once this opens, we'll have a look. This castle shot... Castle shot? It's very dark. It, I might keep it like it is, but if I add some lights and it looks better. Like, I like the fog, but a castle like this should have some lights on. Yeah, something's something's pretty cooked. Uh, I think I'm going to run this. We'll look around the map, and then I'm probably going to... Um, I mean, we'll see what happens. If it happens again, we'll just end the stream and... Uh, I'll restart the computer, then I'll come back. We'll see. So the trees in the distance are looking pretty fine. Maybe a little too much. Maybe went a little too ham with that. Let's uh let's cast a spell for midday. We can see what that looks like with midday lighting. Maybe they're a little bit too close. They feel really bright. That's actually an issue. But you can see like it just makes the the distance over there like a lot better. I need I really need to get around to like locking the mouse, but the way the alchemy system works, we need the mouse unlocked. So I'm gonna have to make it. I'm gonna have to edit. I'm gonna have to make it so that the mouse is locked, and then when you use alchemy and right click, you get the mouse back, or something. Oh, that's strange. We actually hit a uh, collider there. Maybe a tree in the middle of that. Of those two trees. But when you look out now, there's trees in the distance. Just makes it look like this is a continuation of the jungle from before. And gives you the idea that like when you leave this area, you know that there's going to be more jungle on the other side. I, I think it's like not needed to like telegraph that to the player. Like they understand they're in the, blo the bloody jungle. But it just kind of gives it like this like 
hey, there is an open area over there. Like, this mountain path opens up. And we have a pretty heavy fog in this game. Some might say it's aesthetically unpleasing. I personally like it because the main reason for it is it gives the different colors. The fog itself gets a different gradient. Or, sorry, it, it has a gradient of different colors. So you can see, like, it's kind of like... It looks really bright yellowish here. So it gives it that, like, um, kind of midday, morning kind of hue, and then as we go on, it becomes darker. Maybe I'll increase the distance at some point in the future. But you see it has like this dark purplish kind of thing going on. Yeah, the trees in the distance look good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I had hot chocolate right on Deus. Welcome to the stream. Hot chocolate is pretty delicious. Uh, it tastes like shit, so I made tea instead. Well, it's not supposed to taste like shit. Damn. That's unfortunate. Hot chocolate's really good. Uh, tea's good too, though. Is it like green tea, black tea, brown tea? I think it's brown tea. That's unfortunate. Your hot chocolate tastes like shit, though. That's unfortunate. Love some hot chocolate. Wait, was it like the instant hot chocolate that you get at the store with the marshmallows already built in? Dehydrated marshmallows. It's fruit tea? Nice. That's healthy for you. No, it's the real good stuff. Well, I guess it's all like powdered or whatever, right? Yeah, if you get the dehydrated marshmallow stuff, like it's... You know, it's, it's, it's hot chocolate. <laughs> It's like, it's like this, not discount hot chocolate, but if it's got the like dehydrated marshmallows in it, it's like, it's just going to be me. The real bad shit one. <laughs> All right. The not so good one. Here in Canada, we have like Tim Hortons hot chocolate and everyone goes nuts for it. We love our Tim Hortons hot chocolate. I guess you don't have that in Lithuania. What do you have, like, do you have, like, um, you don't have, like, Dunkin' Donuts or Tim Hortons, right? You guys, you guys, but you do have, like, do you have, like, a, like, how, how would you say they are, like, um, a donut and, like, coffee brand that's, like, popped up everywhere? Like, where, where I live, there's, like, a Tim Hortons, like, every, every, like, like, five minutes. It's just, it's everywhere. Canadians are addicted to Tim Hortons. Addicted to hot chocolate and coffee. I'm, okay, I think these trees are good enough. Um, so we can, we can move on from the trees. Uh, I kind of want to work on that game over glitch real quick because it's bugging me. And I ha I've had it on like the dev notes for the past like like three or four dev streams i've just been too lazy to fix it because i have other stuff that we've been working on so let's just load in the jungle temple and we'll look at it and we'll see what the issue is jungle temple dungeon entrance good evening everyone hey vey welcome to the stream hope it's going good fuck my life okay time number four is the best it keeps crashing <laughs> Uh, but welcome to the stream. Uh, I live in uh, UK, but it was cheap, shitty brand one. It wasn't even a good one. Wait, I thought you, you said you lived in Lithuania. Error as soon as I get here? Yeah, we've been having this for a while. It just keeps crashing on us. My bad, Deus. I thought you lived in Lithuania. I am from there. I do not live there. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. Um, I see, I see. So you live in the UK, but you had the cheap, shitty brand, uh, hot chocolate. It wasn't even the good one. It was a good one, like Nesquik. It's been a while. I usually get, like, the Tim Hortons, like, <laughs> it's always, it, in Canada, it always goes back to Tim Hortons, right? So, we used to have, like, Nesquik hot chocolate, 
and now Tim Hortons like just took over. So now we have like canned Tim Hortons hot chocolate that you get at the stores everywhere. There's just like Tim Hortons everything. I guess uh, in the UK for donuts, we have Krispy Kreme. Oh, I've heard of Krispy Kreme. Uh, but it's not known for drinks. We have had a few Tim Hortons pop up in some cities, and I really want to try it. Oh, hell yeah, Tim Hortons is spreading. The Canadian influence is working. It's a mind virus. Soon you guys will all have Tim Hortons everywhere. And now they sell pizza. Which is strange. Uh, speaking of UK, I had cheese and chips. Cheese and chips. Cheese and chips. What's cheese and like just cheese with chips? Or is that like a type of like uh is it the the UK has like um what is it, walkers? Like you, fries? Oh okay. Fries for you? Huh. Oh yeah, you guys call fries the French fries chips. Right. Uh, my parents are, like, from uh, Ireland and Scotland, so they're kind of from Britain. Well, they are from Britain. So they say, like, a chip apiece, in it, like, for a chip sandwich. Fries with cheese? Hell yeah. Get some gravy on that, make it a poutine. Uh, oh, yeah, we have a Krispy Kreme, too. So good, but so flippin' expensive. Oh, so it's in the uh, the uh, States as well. You guys have Dunkin' Donuts primarily, though, right? Like, that's your, like... Here we have, like a couple different places but tim hortons is like the prevalent dominant force uh i love cheesy fries especially cheesy fries with gravy um so so it's it's just like you you guys just have like fries covered in cheese because when we had gravy we call that poutine here and then um we, we don't usually have fries and just cheese so no gravy. Uh, you know what's real good? Cheese and ham toasty with Coke. Cheese and ham toasty. So like a uh, cheese and ham sandwich with some Coca-Cola. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm trying to remember. I have like, I have relatives in the UK. You guys also have like a salad sauce or something like that. Like um, they brought over, like they brought like their own... Like, I, I guess ketchup wasn't good enough. So they brought their own, like, salad sauce that they put on everything. It's like a, a strange, like... I'd have to ask my brother what they called it. Uh, toasty, cheese, ham, cheese, toasty, and Coke. Hell yeah. Cheese and ham always goes good. Toasty. I'm assuming that's just, like, toast, right? It's amazing how like you just like just uh the different like normal or like the like the things that are popular in each area the only sauce i eat is sweet chili hell yeah and yeah it, was, it is toast cheese ham ch cheese toast yeah that's a good that's a good food i yeah i usually i usually like avoid different sauces but uh, i love gravy i put gravy on everything Right, so I have to, so we crashed. I was just trying to think, I was like, thinking about food now. I'm a foodie at heart, I love food. So we have to reset this. Hopefully this doesn't crash again. Temple entrance, and we'll load this. You know what's also good? Jacked potato. Jacked potato, what's that? Never heard of jacked potato. Is that like a stuffed potato? Or like a stuffed baked potato? I wonder if this is a UK thing. Or a British thing. Because my parents, when we have sandwiches, like, you know, like, like with cold cuts, we put...